What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. My name's Nick. My name's Nathan. And this is Full Throttle Cars. Today we are doing a six month ownership review of our 2021 Dodge Durango RT. Before we jump into that, I wanna ask you guys, if you are new to the channel, please do consider subscribing. Go down, drop a like and a comment. Let us know what you like about this video. It helps us out a lot with the YouTube algorithm. But with that said, we'll jump right into the video. Okay guys, so we're just gonna gloss over some of the facts here on this car. Now, Nick and I did do a full review of this vehicle previously on the channel. So if you wanna see more facts, see a little bit more on this car, then you can just go down into the description below and see a full review of this vehicle. But with that said, I just wanna show you guys here, this is a 5.7 liter V8 engine that pushes out 360 horsepower and 390 pound-feet of torque. All right guys, so just as Nathan said, we're just gonna gloss over some of the new stuff, some of the most important things about this car in our review before we talk about the actual ownership experience. But if you wanna see the absolutely full in-depth review, there's again a link down in the description to do that. But taking a look up front here, this is a muscle SUV. It's got the big 5.7 liter Hemi engine, and this definitely has the looks to match. Right here in the middle on the hood, you've got a big air intake, big hood vent right here in the center, and you've got two smaller vents on the sides here you can take a look at on either side to let some of that heat from the engine come out. This is one of my favorite SUVs on the market, and really the only muscle SUV. Okay guys, so one more thing that we do want to mention before we hop into the vehicle are these, these running lights that go on the top and bottom of both headlights on this vehicle. Now these are just gorgeous and they really add to the aggression. They really complement everything here on the front of this car and just make it look that much meaner. Alright guys, so just continuing on with the styling of this car, we've got some really nice 20 inch wheels here on the back and I guess all the way around. I really do like the style of these wheels. You can also option this with the tow and go package, which gives you uh, Brembo brakes as well as an updated or an SRT exhaust. So this thing sounds really mean with that tow and go package. This, however, does not have that package and it still sounds amazing. This again, going with that muscle SUV theme. All right guys, building on this muscle car theme, we're gonna give you a start up here on the 2021 Dodge Durango RT. You can hear that little grumble there on startup and around three to four thousand rpms whenever we're driving this thing it gives a little bit of verbals on it so we'll hopefully get you guys some of that while we're driving all right guys so now we're going to get this thing on the road do some driving impressions and tell you what i've thought about this having uh, driven it and been in it for now over eleven thousand miles we have really put a lot of miles on this thing including one really big uh, round trip that was well over a thousand miles but right now we're going to go ahead down here first and put this thing into sport mode and whenever i do that you'll see up here on the screen we've got a durango with a racing flag behind it so pretty neat we've also got a checkered flag in the corner but we will now uh, throw this thing into drive go jump on the highway or i guess not on the highway but on the main roads and uh, use some paddles and i'll get you guys some exhaust clips i right, want to bump it over into manual we got the paddles on the back here good to the left good to the right let's get a little acceleration here <laughs> i'm sure you guys could probably hear that i really hope it came through on camera we got up to around 5,000 rpms on that first shift and then right around the 4,000, 4,500 mark on that second shift. And you could really hear some of those verbals back there. Really, really cool. This thing is just such a really cool SUV. All right, guys, so just to speak a little bit about how much I've enjoyed this car over this last six odd months that we've owned it. 
I have not driven it the majority of these miles, but I have really enjoyed it. This is one of my favorite cars that my family or I has ever owned. Uh, right up there with one of my favorite cars that I've driven. It's between this and my grandpa's BMW 540i M Sport. Both are really cool cars in their own way. But if I would be to just have one car for around this $50,000 price point, this car right here is extremely hard to beat. It's got the 5.7 liter Hemi V8 engine with the 360 horsepower. You can fit seven people in here and tow about 7,000 pounds is an absolutely amazing all-round vehicle. Reliability so far has been really strong on this thing. Of course, it's only six months old. It should be, but this is a new model year, so every now and then you'll have things that pop up with brand new cars, and because um, this was all redesigned, especially up here with this touchscreen, everything, this new Uconnect system has been nearly flawless. This thing has just been performed so well, and I'm so pleased that we decided to go with this new 2021 Durango RT. One thing I do want to mention, this is a big V8, so it is pretty thirsty on gas, but it is currently averaging right around 17 miles per gallon, which is pretty good for a 5.7 liter V8 that's towing a uh, or hauling a huge three row SUV like this. So that's actually pretty decent. And I think it's actually right up there with the V6 uh, miles per gallon ratings for this same car. So if you're thinking between the V6 or the Hemi for the Durango, hands down, don't even think about it. Go with the Hemi if you can afford it. It is such a fun car. All right, guys, so just for infotainment here in this vehicle, we do have the newest Uconnect system. Now, this does have Sirius XM uh, radio. You also have Apple CarPlay. You have your uh, basic radio. You can just take a quick look at your comfort settings here. You got a bunch of digital stuff. And then if you look in your vehicle right here, um, we can actually see our performance pages, which is my favorite part of this system. So let me launch that. And you can just look at some of these for fun. Um, you can see <clears throat> your 60 feet time, your 330 feet time, um, your quarter mile, uh, 1,000 feet, and eighth mile. Moving along, you have these gauges right here. Now, uh, these aren't showing that much right now because the car is off. Um, there is actually a graph of your power, torque, and RPMs. And uh, now you actually have G-Force right here. G-Force is something that is usually referred to in aircraft, uh, particularly fighter jets, but it's cool to see it in something like this. G-Force is uh, just a, it's a gauge of acceleration. So you can see acceleration in all ways, and you can also see how much this vehicle is turning and twisting and what its pitch and roll is. And then the last page you can see right here are your vehicle dynamics. But yeah, this is a very, very fun feature if you enjoy the muscle and racy aspect of your car. All right, guys, so that is going to wrap up today's video. If you enjoyed, be sure to go down, drop a like, and subscribe. Share the channel. Help us to hit 5,000 subscribers. But just a little bit of a recap why I like this car so much. It is a muscle SUV, one of the best cars you can buy if you're just looking for one car. It's got the three rows, seven C SUV, and it's got the big Hemi V8 engine, makes all the muscle car noises. It's just a really good all-round package. But with that said, we'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.